Hello everyone. Today when we talk about in center, then we can say this is basically useful in finding a specific information. Suppose there is a specific company by some name, let's say it is McDonald's. And they are making burger at this point, but they want to supply this burger on this side, this side, as well as this side. So they definitely want a particular place which is having equal distances from all the three sides. This is a point O. So they want OD which is equal to OE and which is again equal to OF. Definitely if OD, OE and OF all are same then we can construct a specific circle where OE, OD and OF act as the radius of the circle and this circle is touching all the three sides so this circle is known as in circle because this is basically inside the triangle and the point which is equidistant through all the lines is known as in circle, in center. Now, how to make this in center is if we have a triangle ABC, we basically make a angle bisector of a angle which is let's say meeting AC at a point D. Again we make an angle bisector of angle C which is meeting a point A B on a point, uh, point F. Again making a angle bisector which is again touching the BC side on a point F. Then this point is basically the in center of the triangle and this point is considered as O. So here OD is equal to OE is equal to F, OF and this circle is known as the in circle, in circle. This point is known as the in center. If in case we talk about a right angle triangle, then also we can construct the in center. But the in center will always remain inside the triangle because this is a point which is equidistant from all the sides. If we make a obtuse angle triangle, then also the in center will remain inside the triangle. So this is the in center and the point which is equidistant from all the vertex is known as the in center of the circle. Thank you.